Did you all sleep well last night? It's not just humans who sleep. Dogs, fish, birds, and even ants sleep. Sleep is essential for most animals. Fruit flies die if they don't sleep for several days. And even brainless jellyfish exhibit sleep-like behaviors. If you stop and think about it, sleep is a rather peculiar behavior. It may seem that not sleeping would be advantageous for survival, making it easier to find a mate and pass on genes, avoid predators, and eat more food. Humans in particular are especially puzzling, as we spend an average of 7 to 8 hours a day just sleeping. Why on earth do we need to sleep? What happens to our bodies if we don't sleep? Setting aside what we have heard about sleep helping us convert short-term memories into long-term ones, and that without it, our ability to learn plummets, isn't there a bit more compelling research out there on the subject? Today, we'll discuss sleep, a topic you might not have thought much about. In 1964, Randy Gardner, who was then a high school student, set an astonishing new record by staying awake for 264 hours, or 11 days straight. However, during this experiment, Randy was not in his right mind. From the second day of the experiment, he couldn't focus his eyes properly and struggled to visually recognize objects. By the fifth day, he began to experience mental disturbances like hallucinations, even believing that a radio show host was coming to arrest him. From the seventh day, not only did his memory notably deteriorate, but he also couldn't pronounce words properly. In fact, even outside of this experiment, many scientists have warned about the risks of sleep deprivation. Shockingly, one of the risks is Alzheimer's disease. In 2013, Professor Macon Niedergaard from the University of Rochester in the United States revealed an intriguing fact. Sleep helps clear out waste products produced by brain activity. Her research team analyzed the brains of mice and found that during sleep, the space between brain cells expands by nearly 60%. This allows the cerebrospinal fluid to permeate the spaces between the cells and flush out the accumulated waste. They named this process the glymphatic system. In simpler terms, it's like using a high-pressure washer to clean up trash that's piled up on the roadside. So a question arises, why does this brain cleanup primarily occur during sleep? Professor Niedergaard believes this intensive cleaning process requires a lot of energy, making it difficult to run at the same time as the brain's regular activities when we're awake. Intriguingly, experiments with mice revealed that waste products, such as the amyloid beta, which can lead to Alzheimer's, were eliminated twice as much during sleep than when awake. Professor Niedergaard further suggests that lack of sleep results in more amyloid beta accumulating in the brain, which could be a potential trigger for Alzheimer's. Similarly, Dr. Matthew Walker, a neuroscientist at Harvard University, claims that the increased incidence in Alzheimer's in older adults is closely related to developing sleep deprivation as they age. He also stated that the decline in memory observed in older individuals is closely associated with lack of sleep. Astonishingly, the second illness brought on by sleep deprivation is cancer. With our immune response system, we have cells known as natural killer cells. These cells target and eliminate abnormal cells, such as cancer cells. According to Dr. Matthew Walker's research, subjects who slept only four hours in one night saw a 70% reduction in the activity of these immune cells. But that's not all. Dr. Walker discovered that sleep-deprived individuals face issues with gene expression. In an experiment where healthy adults were allowed to sleep just six hours a day over the course of a week, they found that of approximately 700 vital genes in the test subjects, nearly half showed increased expression, while the other half showed decreased expression. The genes that showed decreased expression were linked to the immune system, while those that showed an increase were related to tumor growth, inflammation, and stress. 
Doesn't this shed light on why the WHO classified nighttime work as a potential carcinogen? Moreover, another intriguing fact is that sleep deprivation is linked to the size of men's testicles. In 2018, Professor Wen Yi Zhang from the UCLA Medical Center revealed that men who sleep only five hours a day have testicles nearly half the size of those who sleep seven to eight hours. But the issue isn't just about size. Men who sleep only four hours a day have male hormone levels similar to men nearly 10 years their senior. Essentially, if a man in his 30s doesn't get enough sleep, his testosterone secretion may resemble that of a man in his 40s. In addition to this, in 2013, Professor Amnit Sandhu analyzed data from about 1.5 billion people across nearly 70 countries. They reported in the British Medical Journal that the probability of heart attacks increased by 24% in the spring when people lose an hour of sleep due to the start of daylight saving time. Conversely, in the fall, when people gain an hour of sleep with daylight saving time ending, the risk of heart attacks decreases by 21%. This makes sense since during sleep, our heart rate slows and blood pressure drops, naturally reducing the strain on the heart and blood vessels. Due to the remarkable advancements in electricity, TV, smartphones, and communication, we now live in a society that operates 24-7, diminishing our sleep time. Humans are likely the only creatures on Earth that intentionally deprive themselves of sleep. Throughout our millions of years of evolutionary history, humanity has never faced the issue of self-inflicted sleep deprivation. Consequently, our bodies haven't evolved mechanisms to cope with the risks associated with lack of sleep. Could it be that sleep deprivation is a distinct ailment exclusive to humans, spreading rapidly through our society like an epidemic? At this point, consider the following question. How is your sleep? Science is a window to the world, and this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.